Here is the door panels before. They are really, really faded on the top. I've never seen plastic fade this bad, but they are super faded. This is the other door panel before. Really, really bad. It's ate into the plastic so bad. Never seen the sun do this in 15 years, but you know, this is a 2004, it's been on there for you know almost 15 years, but I've never seen it do it this bad. Usually it's 90s vehicles before 2000s vehicles that would do this, but must have had a lot of sun. Okay, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about doing some painting or spray dyeing some door panels on this 2004 F-250. Um, these are like a dark graphite gray. Charcoal, in their words, is what Ford uses. Um, we're gonna go a little bit darker than this, kind of similar to almost like a black or extreme dark charcoal you know, gray. Um, first step and what we're gonna start off with, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using acetone. Um, I brought in a green and gray Scotch-Brite. This is just a little piece tore off of the gray Scotch-Brite pad. Green one. This is a thing of rubbing alcohol. And spray away glass cleaner. And paper towels. These are all the things that I'm going to pretty much be using in this video. Um, a lot of key features that I've learned from doing this over the years is adhesion is everything. Um, we definitely want to scotch bright it and get all the dirt off. Prep work is almost the absolute most important part of getting the adhesion to stay. So we want to get every single thing, you know, sanded or basically scotch brighted with the gray scotch bright pad um, so that it basically digs into there and, and brings it open so that that way we're going to put an adhesion promoter on here. And then on top of that, we're going to go ahead and go over it with the paint that way that we can get the best adhesion possible. So it doesn't chip peel or crack off. Um, the first step we want to go with is I'm going to take the gray Scotch-Brite pad and some acetone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this off, soak this on here, and I'm going to go over the whole pad just like so. Just take this and just Scotch-Brite the whole entire door panel. We're going to try to get every single bit of contaminants, armor all, every single thing like that. Um, I'll show you what it'll look like after I'm done, but basically we're gonna hit this whole door panel so that, that way we can get all the contaminants and every single thing off of here. Okay, we've taken our Scotch-Brite pad. We've went over this whole thing with acetone to get out any kind of, you know, armor all, any kind of grease, any kind of, anything that's silicone based onto there. Um, now I'm gonna go over the whole thing basically with rubbing alcohol, just to kind of clean it really, really, really good. Just to make sure that, you know, just almost like a double precaution. I just wanna make sure that, you know, this whole entire surface is clean. Like I said, prep work is the absolute most important thing when it comes to doing these. When, you go, when you're doing paint, when you're doing dyeing, when you're doing any of these things, to me, prep work is the absolute most important part. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over all this with rubbing alcohol and get it 100% clean. There's still even stuff coming off. I wanna get this whole thing clean and then I'm gonna go over it again with the spray away glass cleaner after that. Okay, now we've got this whole panel cleaned off with rubbing alcohol. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my spray away glass cleaner and just make sure that third time that this you know, whole entire panel is completely smooth, cleaned, free of any contaminants, you know, anything that's gonna cause problems when we put the paint on it. Um, we use spray away glass cleaner a lot when we're painting cars to clean off on our final prep. Um, it, it, it just helps clean so much to get off this. You can't have any kind of contaminants, oils, grease, any kind of lubricants, anything with silicone in it. 
majorly dirt, um, any kind of dirt, dust, any of those things will cause problems with, you know, adhesion, which is the biggest problem with trying to do the dyeing or the painting. So anything that we can do to help prevent this, that's one of the reasons why I take so many steps on the prep part of it, because I feel like that's the absolute most part, most important part. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this whole entire panel off with our you know, spray away glass cleaner here, trying not to touch a lot of the, the panel where I'm gonna be painting because I don't wanna put my oils from my fingers or anything like that on here because that's just more contaminants that can cause problems with the painting process. And then after this step, we're going to be doing the Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. We might be switching over to House of Color, but we've been using Bulldog and it works pretty good, but we're gonna try some different products and see how they go. But right now, we're gonna get this all ready, and then I'm gonna tape this up to where it's perfect, and then we're gonna start the Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. I'll show you how to do that as well. We've got everything all cleaned off. We have went through our steps of process. So first step, acetone with our gray Scotch-Brite pad. Second step, we went over with our rubbing alcohol with our paper towels to get it completely clean. Our third step, we went over it with our glass cleaner so that that way the sprayway glass cleaner, we can clean all the contaminants and anything that we put on there previously off. We even took our compressor with our blow gun. We've blown every single thing off to kind of dry everything off as well. So now we're at the point of where we're going to be using our Bulldog adhesion promoter. We're gonna spray this on the whole entire door panel and we're gonna basically mist it on and give it about two, three minutes to dry, probably put two coats, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and start putting on our vinyl dye. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You wanna keep it, you know, at least, what I would say at least around eight to 10 inches away. You're just gonna spray it on. I've also taped this up so that that way it doesn't mess up any of the Harley part. It's just misting it on is all I'm doing. I'm not spraying it heavy or anything like that. You don't want to coat this completely to where it looks like it's completely shiny. You just want to, this is just an adhesion promoter. It's not anything more than that. Just mist it on. Okay. We've got our first coat on. We're gonna wait about two minutes. Then we're gonna put our second coat on. And once that dries, we're gonna wait about another couple minutes after that second coat we put on. And then we're gonna go over it with our Dupacolor vinyl and fabric. I'm used to using SEM. I've used that product for a very long time. I've used this product a couple of times. This is way cheaper in price, um, but I would like to see how this durability will hold up against the SEM and things like that and this product has worked pretty well for me in the past, so we'll see how this all goes. We're gonna wait a couple minutes on this, put our second coat on, and then I'll show you how to put this on afterwards. Okay, we've waited about two, three minutes, and everything is starting to dry. So we've put on two coats of the adhesion promoter. Now we're gonna do the vinyl and fabric dye. Key to putting this on, Stay around eight to 10 inches away. Do not get too close. I would probably say maybe even stay the 10 to 12 inches away, about up to here. If you missed it on in 10 coats, it's gonna look better than if you do two heavy coats or three heavy coats. You wanna mist it on. You want it to be as light as possible per coat. You do not wanna oversaturate. You do not wanna lay this on heavy. You do not wanna to be too close to the panel. Those are the things that you're gonna find out that make it look terrible. You want it to look uniform. You want it to look all the way across the same. You don't want blotchiness, tiger stripes, anything like that. Key to this is mist it on light coats. Do as many light coats as you can. Do not do heavy coats. So shake it up really well. And like I said, the key objective is very, 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 very light coats. You do not want to lay this stuff on heavy. As you can see, I'm going to be about six to 10 inches away. I'm just going to mist it on, especially on the first coat. First coat is almost the most important because you just want to mist it on almost as if you're just like drizzling rain is all you want to do. It's not even going to look like it's changing the color. It's not even going to look like it's even doing anything but it's laying down that barrier coat to lock in 
every single thing that's underneath it. You do not want to lay this stuff on heavy. I can't repeat that enough because if you do, it will look blotchy or it won't adhere correctly. Neither one of those things you want to do. You can't fix that. Once it's done, it's already been done. You cannot fix that at all. We are just misting this on 100%. I'm back about you know, six to 10 inches, maybe even a little more in certain spots. Until I feel like it just got a uniform pattern on it. And I feel like that's, it, you can't even tell that it's almost even on there, but it looks like it's uniform and that'll start our barrier lock into the adhesion promoter to put everything on here. So we're just gonna keep doing probably about six to 10 coats, super light coats, and then we'll show you what it's gonna look like after it's all done. Okay, we've put down about four to five coats. Everything's looking really good. It's all uniform. It's kind of hard to tell under these lights, but it looks really, really, really nice. Might be a little shinier in other spots just because it's drying, but door panel looks completely different compared to what it used to be. I mean, it almost looked like you almost wanted to just take that door panel and just throw it in the trash and start over again. This thing is looking really nice. Definitely almost like a whole new door panel. This will give you a little bit of a difference between the two. There's the new door panel that we've done. And here is the other door panel that's getting ready to be done. It's about a night and day difference compared to what they used to look like. And there's the new dyed panel. And like I said, there's the old panel that you can tell this is been through a lot so I think it's a night and day difference of what it used to look like and we're getting ready to do this other door panel as well